Thomson's and Rutherford's atomic models. An atom is the fundamental building block of all matter. This was proposed independently by Maharishi Kannada and the Greek philosopher Democritus. The word atom derives from the Greek word atomos, meaning indivisible. However, over a period of time, the discovery of subatomic particles, the electron, proton and the neutron, proved that atoms are not indivisible. Since then, different models have been proposed to explain the structure of an atom. The first subatomic particle to be discovered was the electron in 1897. Subsequently, in 1903, J.J. Thomson proposed the plum pudding model of the atom. According to this model, an atom is a positively charged sphere in which negatively charged electrons are embedded like plums in a pudding. The positive charge on the sphere balances the total negative charge of the electrons, thus making the atom electrically neutral. In 1911, Rutherford and his team bombarded a thin sheet of gold foil with alpha particles. They observed that most of the alpha particles passed undeflected. Some got deflected at small angles, and a very few, about 1 in 20,000, completely rebounded. Thomson's plum pudding model failed to explain these observations. On the basis of this experiment, Rutherford proposed the nuclear model of an atom, that is, most of the space in an atom is empty. An atom has a massive positive center, which he named the nucleus. Almost the entire mass of the atom is concentrated in its nucleus. The negatively charged electrons revolve around the nucleus in circular orbits. The positive charge on the nucleus balances the total negative charge of the electrons, thus making the atom electrically neutral. Rutherford's model, however, could not explain the stability of an atom. According to existing theories, an electron revolving around a nucleus would start losing energy, take a spiral path and eventually fall into the nucleus.